you know what you're getting yourself into when you take a big spoonful of what you think is ice cream and when that texture just ain't it you just leave disappointed hey guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to vlogmas day nine we are almost all the way through vlogmas and i am so excited for today's video today i'm going to be testing out five of these different ice cream brands each brand i got slightly a little different of a flavor for but we are really going to be looking at the texture of the ice cream how much the ice cream cost for a pint how much you actually get for a serving size worth of ice cream and whether it actually tastes like ice cream. Because when I wanna dive into a whole pint full of ice cream, I'm thinking of Ben and Jerry's ice cream. I'm ready to dive in, eat that whole pint of ice cream. So I wanna see whether it's actually worth our time and money to get these healthy ice cream flavors. So we're going to dive right into it. Timmy is here with me today and he will also be taste testing these healthy ice cream flavors. So at the end of the video, I will go over both of our top five in numerical order. That way you guys know which ones to grab when you are out. All five of these flavors I just got from my local grocery store, so they should all be brands that you would be able to find no matter where you are really shopping at. So the first ice cream flavor we are going to get into today is Enlightened. So Enlightened is one that I found online. So this is supposed to have 100 calories per serving of ice cream. So the flavor that I got is chocolate peanut butter. It looks delicious. Check our receipt. This Enlightened cost $4.99. So it was one of the cheaper ice cream flavors that I got today. I got chocolate peanut butter. One serving is a half cup of ice cream, which is honestly pretty good. And there are four servings in this container. So each serving has 100 calories, which is what they're all about. It even says it right here on their package. 100 calories per serving. It also has more protein and less sugar. So let us try this bad boy out. I got my handy dandy ice cream eating spoon. I didn't let them sit out long enough, so. It's honestly pretty good. I mean, it definitely doesn't have an ice cream consistency. You could definitely tell like the texture is a little bit off. It does say that it has four net carbs per serving, so that's good if you're trying to minimize your carb intake. definitely wouldn't be my go-to ice cream flavor either this was the Timmy request for the ice cream flavor so we'll see what his thoughts are he's more of a peanut butter person than I am but it is super good honestly it is pretty good definitely has a different texture than ice cream it doesn't taste like real ice cream but I didn't really expect it to so I'm going to pass it off to Timmy so you can try it out that's yeah it doesn't really taste like ice cream it is like the flavor isn't bad you definitely taste the chocolate you do definitely taste the peanut butter but the texture for me is a bit off right do you feel like the texture is strange yeah Okay. Well, he likes the flavor definitely, but it doesn't taste like ice cream. It definitely has a different texture to it. It doesn't sound as rich and creamy. It has skim milk in it, so that might be part of the reason as well. All right, the next brand that we're going to be trying out is Planet Oat. So I've actually heard of this brand before. I've actually tried a different flavor from them before and I really liked it, so I wanted to get a different flavor and kind of compare it. So the flavor that I got is cookies and cream. So this is made with oat milk, so it is a non-dairy dessert. So if you are lactose intolerant and you're unable to eat regular ice cream, this would be a really good alternative, this brand, because oat milk obviously does not have actual dairy in it. So let us check it out so this one was the cheapest one that i purchased so this pint was actually only 3.99 so which for a healthy brand of ice cream is really really good because normally they are outrageously priced so per serving you get two-thirds of a cup so you actually get more than you got in the last one that we tried out it is 250 calories per serving so a bit more but it does give you a per container serving, which I absolutely love. So you can see the per serving and then per container, because let's be realistic, most of the time you're gonna eat closer to a whole container of this anyway. So I got cookies and cream. So let's try this bad boy out. Oh, this one scoops, it's nicer. Oh my God, this was a really big spoonful. All right, I'm chewing the ice cream, which I'm sure people will roast me for, but it's fine. Oh my god, this is so good. This actually tastes exactly like ice cream. Like, it actually tastes so good. It tastes exactly like cookies and cream ice cream. You would have no idea 
that it is dairy free you would have no idea that it doesn't have real milk in it because it is so creamy it tastes exactly like you are going to get a regular like ben and jerry's or briar's regular ice cream wow 10 out of 10 i really like this one this one's really really good this planet oat one do you like it <laughs> what do you not like the flavor or do you not like okay so timmy is not a cookies and cream person he's not really a vanilla ice cream person you're more of a chocolate ice cream person so that is part of the reason as well as vanilla ice cream bees so but i thought it was absolutely delicious that one was much better than the first one texture wise it tastes much more like ice cream though right yeah. cool all right so two down planet oat definitely better than the first all right our next brand is halo top everyone and their mother has heard of halo top for healthy ice cream everybody raves about it i got mint chip so i love mint chocolate chip i know that's sometimes a popular or unpopular opinion some people love it some people don't think mint and chocolate should be mixed i get it but i got mint chip because i absolutely love it it's 330 calories per pint of this whole ice cream so you're really getting a good calorie amount for a lot of ice cream so this one was one of the more expensive costing ice creams. This one cost $5.29. So this one was the second most expensive ice cream flavor. A big part of that I do think is just the brand name. Everyone knows of Halo Top and it being a healthy ice cream. So you do get two thirds of a cup per serving size in this one as well. So just like the Planet Oat one, you get a little bit bang, more bang for your buck than that first one that we tried out. And there are three servings for this entire container, which is nice as well. Let's try it. So this is also made with skim milk. So we see a reoccurring theme. Oh, very smooth. It freaks me out when my chocolate chip ice cream isn't green. I don't know why. I just feel like it shouldn't be white. It should be green. I don't know. And honestly, it's really good. It's really good. The, the texture is just like ice cream. It's cream. It's smooth, all of that. It, it tastes just like mint chocolate chip ice cream. You would have no idea that this is a healthier version of mint chocolate chip ice cream. It just tastes like the normal thing. So definitely like this one. I'll definitely be eating more of it. I know you don't want this one, right? Mm -hmm. Not a mint chocolate chip. Ben and Jerry's have the best pints of ice cream of all time. It's always my go-to. I'm a half-baked or a fish food type of gal when I am getting just your normal everyday ice cream. But... They did start making dairy-free ice creams. So I got chocolate chip cookie dough for the flavor of my Ben & Jerry's. This is a dairy-free dessert, which is really nice. So same way, serving size, two-thirds of a cup, which is really, really nice. We love to see it. It does have more calories, but it does have more stuff in it as well, like more like chocolate chips and fudge and all of that good stuff. So 350 calories per serving in this one. Price-wise, it comes in at $4.99, which honestly is a normal pint of ice cream. Ben & Jerry's, I think their normal pints are $4.99, so it's nice to know that their like, healthier versions aren't more expensive. So this is chocolate chip cookie dough. This is made with almond milk, so once again, if you are lactose intolerant, we got a good ice cream fix for you if you do want that ice cream, but you can't have it because it kills your stomach. So let's try it. They're getting softer because they're sitting out for longer. Mm -hmm. I think it's good. You definitely, like, I like the flavor. I'll definitely keep eating it. I have no problem with it. It's creamy. It's rich, which are, like, necessities for me when it comes to ice cream. My only issue that I kind of have with it, and I like almonds, so keep this in mind while I'm saying it, it does have a little bit of a nutty flavoring to it because it's made with almond milk. So it's chocolate chip cookie dough is the flavor, but I feel like you do get like a hint of nut in it, which I don't mind because I like almonds. But if I was like not a nut person or not an almond purpose person, I'd be pretty turned off. So let me, I mean like, it's really nice to get the chocolate chips and the cookie dough in it, both of which would normally have dairy in it, so I love that for us. So it does have almond milk, it has like pea protein, things like that, so it definitely is good. I mean, once again, if you don't mind a little hint of an almond or nut flavoring to it, you're not going to mind. It's creamy, it's rich, so... No problem with that. Last but not least, I have Rebel Ice Cream. So I got the triple chocolate because your girl loves chocolate. So if you need a chocolate fix, but you want some healthy ice cream, this is a good option for you. This was the most expensive pint of ice cream I've ever purchased in my life. It came in at 
$5.99, so a whole $6 for a pint of ice cream. So this is it, Rebel. It has five grams of carbs for this entire pint. So this is like a keto person's dream that they can get ice cream in their life, but they're not really killing their diet. So you do get two thirds of a cup for every serving size. So it's the same thing as every single one minus that first one, which was enlightened. You do have 190 calories per serving, which honestly is really on the low side. Let's see, what is this bad boy even made out of? It just says cream, water. I don't know what it's particularly is the cream, but it should be creamy then you would think. I guess it has dairy in it. It doesn't say it's dairy free, so I'm assuming it does have dairy. I don't know. It's gluten free though. I don't know if ice cream is normally not gluten free, but this one is. So let's try. Triple chocolate. I have high hopes because I really love chocolate. I mean, it's definitely rich. Like I wouldn't be able to have more than like this much of it. I like that saying something because like in some pints of ice cream, like I can house a whole pint of ice cream. So it's definitely rich, but it has that chocolate flavor. The texture, I would say, isn't as creamy as normal ice cream flavors, like dairy-based ice cream. But this does have dairy in it, so I'm kind of confused. Maybe it's just because they don't have as many carbs in it because of the way that they're making it. I know they don't have as much sugar alcohol in it than some other ice creams. So maybe that's why the texture isn't just like 100%, but I definitely get that chocolate hit. You definitely get that like ice cream feel. It's rich. Like This bad boy will fill you up. I mean, it's certainly not bad I would never but it's definitely rich and thick so you wouldn't get it you said yeah do you think it's like too thick like don't you think it would fill you up so quickly oh okay he doesn't feel like it's too thick I think it's really thick like thicker than most chocolate ice cream but I don't know why but maybe that's just me because he doesn't think that at all so maybe that's just my taste buds so we are going to go ahead and we are going to rank our top five ice cream flavors the ones that i think are worth your money this is all based of everything that we're getting the amount of serving size that you're getting for it the price that you're paying for it all of that is taken into consideration to give you which ice cream flavor i think is worth your time from the worst ones that we tried out to the best ones i did like them all for the most part i do have to say out of all of them enlighten was the only one that i would have no interest in buying from the brand again because it didn't even taste like ice cream like the texture just didn't taste like ice cream to me so that would be the only one that i don't think i'd go back and try another flavor i wasn't super crazy about some of the flavors of all of them but i get different flavors maybe that wouldn't be the case so we're going to go ahead and rank our top five. This is my one for sure. Oh god. <laughs> I'm gonna buy this one, then this one, then that. There you go. But you like the rebel. Maybe that one's fun. Do you like this one a lot though? So Timmy and I together have listed our favorite ice cream flavors from our least favorite to our most favorite. We do have a tie for third and fourth place because he really liked one that I didn't like and I really liked one that he didn't try. So that's a reason that they're tied for third slash fourth, but we'll get there. So in last place, as you probably already guessed, is Enlightened. It wasn't anything against the particular ice cream flavor, like it wasn't horrible. This was a flavor that I don't think I'd be crazy about in the first place as I'm not a huge chocolate peanut butter combo person in general, unless it's in my banana smoothies you already know but I'm not really a crazy person for it in ice cream in particular but honestly just in general it didn't taste like ice cream the flavoring didn't taste like ice cream the texture didn't taste like ice cream like you know what you're getting yourself into when you take a big spoonful of what you think is ice cream and when that texture just ain't it you just leave disappointed so enlightened for me not my favorite ice cream flavor this was our least favorite combined so tied for third and fourth place is rebel and then the ben and jerry so there was no real reason why one didn't win over the other besides the fact that me and timmy voted together and he really really liked the rebel even though you guys heard that i kind of wasn't really crazy about it it was super super thick and that's not a bad thing you know chocolate ice cream is gonna be thick but but this one in particular just seemed extra thick to the point that I can't figure out why, if it's so healthy for you, how it's so rich. Not that that's a bad thing. So if you like rich, 
thick, creamy chocolate ice cream. It definitely was good. It had the consistency, it had the texture, it had that creamy flavor. So if you're all about that Rebel ice cream, and I got the triple chocolate. Like I would totally try another flavor of this brand. Maybe something that I would just like a little bit more. So I would say that even though I wasn't crazy about triple chocolate, even though I am a diehard chocolate gal, maybe if I tried a different flavor, I would like it more because they did a really good job with everything else related to the healthy ice cream front. Just, I wasn't crazy about this particular flavor. And then tied with it, we have the Ben & Jerry's Dairy Free Ice Cream. So this one's in the chocolate chip cookie dough. Everything was great about this one. It does have the creaminess. It does have the texture. You even got tons of chunks in it. The only downside to this one, if you do want a true healthy ice cream, is that it is the most per serving size. You're getting 350 calories per serving of Ben & Jerry's, where the one that it was tied with, Rebel, you're only getting 190 calories per serving. So in comparison, if you're eating the exact same amount of ice cream, this one has less stuff in it. Like this one has the cookie dough, has the chocolate chips. So that's why it's adding up so much. But for the same amount of ice cream, you are getting more for your calorie intake in this one than you are with this one. So there's nothing wrong with that if you don't really care about any of that. But if you do care, then this one has more calories than this one. Coming in in a solid second place is Halo Top. Everyone's queen of healthy ice cream is halo top i tried the mint chocolate chip i knew i was going to like this flavor as long as they did a good job with the healthy ice cream because i love mint chocolate chip everything so i'm not shocked by this at all halo top does a great job with their healthy ice cream the only flavor that i've ever had from them and i'm telling you straight up right here so you don't waste your time the only flavor that i've ever had from them that i'm not crazy about is their chocolate crazy I know but it doesn't taste like chocolate ice cream you know what you're getting yourself into when you bite a big bite of chocolate ice cream you want creamy you want thick you want rich and then I, I know I just complained that rebel was too thick and rich but thick but you want like that creamy rich chocolatey feeling and in halo top they just didn't nail that for me so I didn't like their chocolate ice cream but I've never had another flavor from halo top that I didn't like but this honestly has been my favorite so mint chocolate chip halo top totally worth your time it was the second most expensive of one out of all the ones that I bought but it was totally worth it because for this entire pint it's 330 calories where just one serving of this is 350 calories so something to keep in mind if you're calorie conscious that you can eat this whole pint for the thing that you can only eat one serving of for this so something to keep in mind Halo Top comes in at a solid number two of best ice cream healthy brands and coming in at number one, that is probably no shock because as soon as I bit it, I absolutely raved about it, is this Planet Oat brand. You, I already tried this brand before. It was I put a disclaimer out there when I had it the first time, and I really, really liked it the first time I had it. So I went in with super high hopes, and they did not disappoint. This flavor tastes exactly like cookies and cream ice cream. You would have absolutely no freaking idea that this is made with oat milk. It tastes exactly like the dairy milk, and it tastes so good. It's rich. It's creamy. The texture is on point. If you like cookies and cream ice cream, this flavor is not going to disappoint you. I tried peanut butter chocolate from this flip brand as well and it was so delicious so I'm definitely when I want a healthy brand of ice cream I'm definitely gonna always gravitate towards Planet Oats I didn't know if it was just the flavor that I liked the first time or if it was the brand altogether and now that I've had another flavor from this brand I know that it was the brand so Planet Oat literally my number one recommendation for healthy ice cream totally worth your time totally worth your money because this whole bad boy is only $3.99 like, pints of ice cream don't come that cheap. This one, for it being a healthy ice cream flavor, for it being made of oat milk, something that is not going to kill you if you are lactose intolerant, something that for each serving is 250 calories, you get for $3.99. Literally, what a steal. Such a good freaking flavor for ice cream. And also, this brand just kills the healthy ice cream brand. This brand kills it. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up our video for today. I hope you liked me trying out some of the healthy ice cream flavors. I know ice cream is a very sensitive topic for people, and people absolutely love ice cream, and your girl is with you. I get my ice cream kick, and I want to eat ice cream every single night of the week. And not that there's anything wrong with that, but it's nice to know some brands that run dairy-free if you're someone that cannot eat dairy and just have a little bit of healthier options. For when you really get that itch to get some ice cream in you, now you know some healthy brands to gravitate towards. So if you guys like this video make sure you go ahead and give it a big thumbs up if you haven't already make sure you check me out on my instagram so you can see all the other fitness and health content that i post make sure you let subscribe down below so you don't miss any other
another video that I post and you can stay up to date on all things Vlogmas related because you don't want to miss another video. We still got so much more content coming towards you in the month of December. And with that being said, I will catch you guys here next time.